Hello students, welcome back. This is teacher Mitali here. I hope you all are safe and healthy. Children, I would like to start today's session with a small message. Life is like a mirror. You look at it and smile and it smiles back at you. So children, please keep smiling, be happy and enjoy your learning. With this note, we will begin the next lesson in maths for class 4 subtraction now before we begin i would like to tell you the different terms which are used for subtraction subtraction also means subtract take away find a difference minus i repeat subtraction also means subtract take away find the difference minus children can you see this sign over here this sign is minus which means subtraction now whenever you see this sign that is minus sign in between any two numbers then you know that you have to subtract those two numbers so let us now begin children addition and subtraction are the two main concepts which you learn right from the lower classes probably the basic explanation for subtraction would be I have five laddus. My brother takes away two laddus and eats them. How many laddus do I have left with me? I had five laddus. My brother took away two. So how many are there? Three. So this is a basic step or concept of subtraction which can be written as five minus two equals to three. Now with this basic concept in mind, we will see how to subtract large numbers up to 4 digits. Now we will see some examples how to subtract the two given numbers. Now in order to subtract any two given numbers, first we need to write them one below the other. But remember, we always write the greater number on top and the smaller number below it. Remember, we always write the greater number on top and the smaller number below it. Now, let us see the first example. In this example, you need to, sub you need to subtract 2245 from 9948, which is a greater number. So, let us write the numbers one below the other. 9948 which is the greater number, we will write the place value. Now write the second number just below it. Take care to write the digits in the respective places. Now I will write 2, 2, 4, 5. Put the minus sign and subtract. Now you will start from the ones place. 8 minus 5 is 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. 9 minus 2 is how much children? Yes, correct. 7. Again, 9 minus 2 is how much? 7. So, what is the answer you have got for this? 7703. Am I correct, children? Please check if you have got the same answer. Yes? Okay. Now, before we proceed, I would like to tell you a few terms which are used here. The greater number which is on top is called the minuend. What it is called? Minuend. The smaller number which we write down or the number which we subtract is called the subtrahend. What it is called? The subtrahend. And the answer that you get after subtracting is called a difference. What it is called? Difference. So you have the minuend, which is the greater number on top. You have the subtrahend, which is the smaller number below. And you have the answer, which is called a difference. Now let us see the next example. Here we have to subtract 212 from 4465, which again is a greater number. So what will we do, children? First, we will write the numbers one below the other. And which number you are going to write first? You will write 4, 4, 6, 5, which is the greater number on top. Let us write the place values. 
Now, look at this number here. 212 is a three digit number. So, take care when you are writing the number because you have to write the digits in the respective places. Now, 212, put a minus sign and continue with your subtraction. Now, you all know 5 minus 2 is 3, right? 6 minus 1 is 5. 4 minus 2, 2, yeah, that's correct. Now, here there is no digit. So, what did I tell you last time for addition? You have to assume that it is 0. Do not write it, but assume it is 0. Now, 4 minus 0 will be 4. So, what is the answer you have got? 4, 2, 5, 3. Check if it is correct. Yes? Very good. Now, in this example, can you tell me who, which is the minuan? Yes? Yes, this is the minion. This is the greater number. The subtrahend. And which is the answer you have got? Yes, 4, 2, 5, 3. That's correct. What will it be called? It is called the difference. Very good. So now you have understood this very well. Now the examples which you have seen were of subtraction without any borrowing. Now we will see some examples where we have subtraction with borrowing. Let us take the first example. Now in this case again children you need to minus 3, 2, 3, 8 from 7, 5, 7, 6 which is a greater number, right? So, which number we will write first? 7, 5, 7, 6. Let's once again write their place value. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000, correct? Now, write the smaller number below. 3, 2, 3, 8 and minus. Now, if you see the digit in the ones place is 6 minus 8. That means you have to subtract 8 from 6. But is it possible? No. We cannot subtract a bigger number from a smaller number, right? So now what will we do? Now this 6 will borrow 1 from 7 which is in the tens place and become 16. Now 7 which is in the tens place, since it has given 1, it will become 6. Have you understood? So, this digit in the units place now, the number is 16 and in the tens place, the new digit is 6. Now, we can easily subtract 8 from 16. Eight mi 16 minus 8 is how much? 8, right? Now, this is the new digit you have to take. So, 6 minus 3 is how much? 3. 5 minus 2. And 7 minus 3. Correct? 4, 3, 3, 8. So, this is the answer or the difference that you have got. Now, let us see the next example. In this case also, we need to subtract 1, 2, 3, 6 from 8, 8, 0, 5. So, let us write 8, 8, 0, 5 first. Below that, I will write 1, 2, 3, 6. Put a minus sign. Now, we will write the place values on top. 1, 10, 100, 1000. Now, here you need to do 5 minus 6 or subtract 6 from 5 which again is not possible because you cannot subtract a bigger number from a smaller number. So now what will happen? 5 will try to borrow 1 from 0 which is in the tens place. But since the digit is 0 here you cannot take or borrow any digit. So now what will happen? This 0 will borrow 1 from 8 which is in the hundreds place and become 10. Since 8 has given 1, it will become 7. Now, this 5 which is in the 1's place will borrow 1 from 10 and become 15. 
and this 10 since it has given 1 it will reduce and become 9 got it now see you can easily do the subtraction 15 minus 6 is how much yes you are correct 9 9 minus 3 how much 6 correct 7 minus 2 5 right and 8 minus 1 7 so again you have 7 5 6 9 which is the answer please cross check your answers children now that you know how to subtract the two given numbers you can easily check if the answer is correct with addition to do this you have to follow this rule to check the answer to subtraction problem add the difference to the smaller number you should get the greater number only then your answer is correct now we will see this with the help of one example let us take we have 8 5 8 6 minus 1 2 3 4 now we will write the greater number on top minus the smaller number correct now this is the ones place tens place hundreds thousand now please do the subtraction children six minus four is how much two right eight minus three five five minus two three and eight minus one is seven correct now in this example you see that this number which we have written on top is the greater number correct this number below it is the smaller number correct now the answer what we get is called what it is called the difference now if I want to check whether my answer is correct or no I have to follow this rule and what does this rule say you have to add the difference what is the difference you have got now that is the answer 7 3 5 2 to the smaller number which is the smaller number children here 1 2 3 4 correct 1 2 3 4 and the after adding find the answer 4 plus 2 6 5 plus 3 8 3 plus 2 is how much 5 and 7 plus 1 is how much 8 now the answer which you have got here is the greater number on top so if the answer which you get after adding the difference and the smaller number is equal to this greater number then you can easily say that your answer is correct that means you have cross checked your own answer and you now know surely that your answer is correct we will see the properties of subtraction the first property which i will explain is when a number is subtracted from itself the difference is zero i repeat when a number is subtracted from itself the difference is zero to explain this i have taken one example say i have 100 chocolates with me and i distribute or give away all the chocolates to my friends that means I had hundred chocolates with me so I have given away or distributed all the hundred chocolates to my friends now how many chocolates will I have with me left children yes correct I will have zero because no chocolates are going to remain with me I have given away all the chocolates to my friends now we will see the next property the next property states that when zero is subtracted from a number the difference is the number itself i repeat when zero is subtracted from a number the difference is the number itself to explain this again i will take one more example say i have a bouquet with 200 roses now i do not take away any of the roses so I will not take away any of the roses so 200 minus 0 how many roses will be still left with me they will be still 
200 right because i have not taken away any of the roses from the bouquet so this example clearly explains this property that when zero is subtracted from any number the answer is the number itself is it clear now children this was the last part of our session today see you soon and till then stay safe be happy and please do take good care of yourself thank you